Hey everyone, Nico and me here, and today I'm showing you guys my list for the top 5 games coming to the Wii U in 2016. Coming into this new year, the Wii U is kind of struggling, and it's kind of sad to say. Um, honestly, the Wii U, system-wise, hasn't been doing the greatest. But I think software-wise, it's one of the best generations ever in Nintendo history. We have great games like Splatoon, Xenoblade Chronicles X, Super Mario Maker, Mario Kart 8, Super Smash Bros, and the system isn't even done yet. Um, all I can say is in 2016, I'm very excited to see what Nintendo is bringing to the table, and these are some of the games that they are confirmed to bring to the table. All I can say for 2016, to quote Reggie fils my body is ready. So let's get on with the list. For number 5, we have Shinigami Tensei crossover with Fire Emblem Awakening or Fire Emblem in general. I think it's all the Fire Emblem characters from Awakening though. So this game is a game I'm still kind of confused on and I have still have like no idea how they're really doing this, but it looks really interesting to say the least. This is by far the game I'm most interested to see um, of how it turns out because it's really unpredictable. The game uh, from based off what it's supposed to be is a crossover from Fire Emblem and Shin Megami Tensei. Both games are pretty niche, and they're kind of a like unknown series in a way, um, but both have really big fan bases behind them. Um, so being two really kind of unpopular series, bringing them both together in one fantastic blend on the Wii U, I'm really excited to see, especially because we haven't seen a Fire Emblem game on a home console in a long, long time. So I'm really excited to see how they translate that with the crossover with this game. And based off all the screenshots and gameplay, it looks like some kind of pop star performance when they battle. And I have no idea what that really has to do with anything. But all I can say is it looks really interesting. These, the RPG themed um, battle style um, with apparently uh, in a, like a coliseum with fans cheering. Um, really cool looking graphics and amazing costumes and design. All I can say is, I don't want to say it again, but my body is ready. Number four on my list is Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. This game is going to look great on the Wii U, and I'm really excited to see how Nintendo does remaking the game. Honestly, I have never played through completely Twilight Princess, and I'm super, super excited to try it out first on the Wii U. Um, I've seen gameplay videos, and I'm really excited to see how Nintendo pulls this out. Uh, along with releasing many Amiibo um, for Legend of Zelda already, um, I'm thinking the Amiibo compatibility will be pretty cool as well. Um, we already know that there will be a Link Wolf Amiibo coming with the game, so we already know that Amiibo will be working it somehow, but I'm interested to see what compatibilities they will bring to the table to bring some new fresh life into this game, because the game is, what, like 10 years old now? Um, so adding more features such li like Amiibo compatibility, maybe some type of online feature, as well um, we really can see new life in this really old game and potentially make it even better than it was to begin with so I'm really excited to play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess uh, for the first time and it's kind of a wait for uh, it's kind of like a treat for us Zelda fans for the new game coming out um, which whether it be Zelda for the Wii U or it turns out being Zelda for the NX um, so I'm really excited to see how this turns out and yeah Zelda Twilight Princess HD Remake, number four. And number three, we have Pokken Tournament. This game, uh, you don't even know. I am so excited for this game. Um, for the Wii U, this is the first Pokemon, the real Pokemon game for the Wii U. And I'm so excited to see how this turns out for us. Um, being able to have these Pokemon that we've grown up with forever in a Tekken-like Street Fighter almost fighting game that's really really cool uh all the beautiful landscape and beautiful moves and artwork looks so good on the wii u and i'm really really excited to see how this turns out um being that i love fighting games as it is and how much i love pokemon both of them coming together is going to be something unforgivable um like so awesome um the the only thing I'm not happy with with this game is, so far from what we've seen, the character roster isn't too huge. I'd like to see at least 30 Pokemon that we can play as, um, but right now I think we only have like 12. Um, so hopefully either DLC 
or um, more content will come around somehow and we'll have more Pokemon to play as in this epic game. Um, it's scheduled to come out in spring 2016, so you bet your bottom dollar I'll be there to get this game. Number two is Zelda Wii U. Now this game has kind of been a roller coaster ever since its announcement. I think in 2012 uh, is when we first got the confirmation that a game for Zelda is coming for the Wii U. And we got to see some uh, artwork for it. We got to see some gameplay with it with the creators of the game. Uh, as you can see right there, that's one of the times we got to see the game in action. And ever since then, we haven't really learned much else. All we know, it's a Wii U game coming for the uh, Zelda, the Zelda game that we've been all been waiting for for a long, long time now. We've been, what, having three remakes since its last big release? Uh, Wind Waker, uh, now Twilight Princess, and uh, Majora's Mask. So we've had lots and lots and lots of remakes uh, to hold us off for this new game. And I think it's time for them to finally release it. Um, we've been waiting for this for a long, long time. Uh, from what we've seen, it's very beautiful, and it's very open-world-ish. It's like a twist on the open world. You get to see Link riding on a horse through vast lands, and even though we have had fights as a fan base of if it's coming to the Wii U, the NX, if it's going to be pushed back to the NX, or it's just going to just happen on the NX, or come out for both. Um, and honestly, all that stuff can be pushed aside, because all we know is a Zelda game is coming, and it's going to be great. So, we've had many, many confirmations of it coming in 2016, so all I can say is, I'm excited. The number one game is quite obviously Cookie Mama Family Cooking HD Remake. Now this game, I don't even know how long I've been waiting. I've been waiting forever. This is by far the number one game I've been waiting for for, I think, practically my whole life. I think everyone's been waiting for this game forever. Cookie Mama is such an iconic franchise, and honestly, it's what honestly wrote, raised me as a child, and I cannot wait for this HD remake of Cooking Mama Family Cooking. Um, the flipping of the knives, it, it's all gonna look so great. Obviously, you probably caught on to my sarcasm, because obviously, Cooking Mama HD remake, although I want it, obviously, Cooking Mama is phenomenal, don't get me wrong, but no, Star Fox is by far the number one game coming to the Wii U in 2016. The amount of enjoyment I get from seeing Nintendo's enjoyment for this game. Although it has been delayed many, many times, I actually consider that a compliment from Nintendo for the game because they want to keep on working for this game and making sure that it's perfect for their fans to enjoy because they do not want to disappoint us. And if you look at this picture right here, look how happy Miyamoto looks. That's just... That smile makes me melt. Like, not... <laughs> just look how happy he looks. Like, it... it you know we're going to get an amazing Star Fox game this time around. Coming in spring 2016 along with Pokemon Tournament, which is coming there. Um, we're going to get amazing Star Fox content. And I cannot wait to see what we get from it. And how amazing this game really is. How beautiful the world is. How awesome the characters are. I just cannot wait at all. Thank you so much for watching. This is Nico and me. And I'm very, very excited for the near future of Nintendo. 2016 promises to be a huge year for Nintendo software-wise and possibly hardware-wise if we do get the NX. Either way, to count on my buddy Reggie fils my body is ready for whatever Nintendo gives us this year. And these five games are definitely on top of my list for the games I'm excited to see. I will also be doing a top five of the PS4 and 3DS. So if you're interested in that, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and have a beautiful day. Goodbye.